this morning and my neck just kind of went and then I was like oh and I felt like I was going to throw up and so I just hopped back into bed and felt sorry for myself. Yeah, that's what <laughs> most people move. do. Yeah. <laughs> Did you actually feel sick? I oh, actually be sick sorry? No, no. no I feel dizzy and all that kind You of stuff. feel dizzy yeah. and nauseous. Yeah. Yeah. No worries. You're pretty stuck aren't you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, side to side really hurts. What, you, what you're not going to be able to do is bring your head this way and this way. Yeah, yeah. Um, try and turn it, see what you can do turning. This side I found was easier than this side. And that side you... It hurts You get there. stuck. Yeah. Okay, well you haven't got much going on at all, have you? Yeah. Well, you've got an enormous amount of muscle guarding back here, like these muscles are like concrete. But even though a little while ago you had some ice on there, mm -hmm. you're still getting the brake show through onto this scope, meaning that there's a lot of nerve pressure coming from down the bottom part of your neck here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try and move you a little bit. Mm -hmm. You won't be able to do too much, but that's okay. I'll be able to get the information I need. Do you feel like you've got pain coming from here across your shoulders? Yeah. But more more so, on the left side, yeah. Yeah, more so than from here down. Yeah. It feels more like here across, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we've got the wedging in the um, the back of the C7 disc there, and we've got the reverse in the curve, we've got the straightening of the thoracic curve. Okay, let's get this adjusted, mate. This is your problem here. Okay, just need you to bring your chin up a little bit, a little bit more. That's it, relax there. And we're just going to bring your head over a little bit here. For all of you guys that are following us, especially the chiropractors and students, I just want you to know that left hand's not on her throat. There's only two fingers guiding her chin into the right position. And with the right hand, the thumb is down momentarily. This particular patient had a lot of trouble getting her head over. There was a lot of disc swelling, a lot of pain a lot of inflammation and she just needed the support momentarily to get her head over into the right spot. Later that thumb will come up and support the rest of the correction hand. We ended up with a little bit more extension than I would have liked but once again due to her pain levels, probably a little bit of fear but also the swelling in the disc and the guarding in the muscles, it was very difficult for her to keep her head where I would have liked it. What we did achieve was a very good position in the end where the disc space was open with an exact right line of correction and a good adjustment. That's it. That's pretty good. Good. You might feel a bit light in the head or a bit flushed in the face. It's hot. <laughs> hot, yeah. We're going to just repeat those little movements that we did before. Okay. Do you feel sick at all? No. No, good. Bring your chin up in the air. I want you to turn right and left a few times. It's better already, isn't it? Yeah. Well, that's moving better immediately. The new Bethany. The new Bethany, exactly. <laughs> or reverted back to the old one. <laughs> yeah. This is really just a check. I'm positive that you're going to be fine. But. I just wanted to have a look at the exact level that we adjusted last time yeah. and make sure that it's doing the right thing. Yeah, that's better. It's great, it's heaps better, isn't it? Yeah. The new Bethany. The new Bethany, exactly. <laughs> 